Portion of this incident was also captured on the responding officer's body-worn video. Body-worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officers saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. Here is body-worn video from one of the officers involved in the incident. Hey, step back up for 50 more. I'm gonna go on the floor. Uh, Manchester is stuck. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Turn around. Put your hands on your back. We got a man up.
Hey, be quiet. I saw you. Be quiet. Someone 30 responding. Someone 30 right there. I'm going to show up. Go for it. Hey, um, Mel Black, we're in a hoodie. Youngster. He's a driver, we're gonna go with him, all right? I'm okay. gonna call for for now if you guys don't mind. Can we see? Yeah, he's a guy in custody. Yeah. He, he literally. So if he went again in custody. He went running uh, northbound Manchester? Yeah. All right, we'll go check right we'll now. Just check from this block. Call for, please. Five, one, four, 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 four. Why are you going in the car? Why are you going in the car? Face forward. Face forward. Face forward. Why are you doing? I got a broken arm. Face forward. Don't fucking yelling at me. No, I got a broken arm. I got a broken arm. Why are you doing that, bro? I got a broken arm. Why are you doing that, bro? I got a broken arm. You don't mind standing by with me? Broken arm, bro. Damn. Hey, Mama, you you were part of it? No. Oh, you you have to block traffic going west on Manchester. Yeah. Sorry, you're questioning unit to block traffic westbound on Manchester. 951, let me get an RA for a male. About to be 30 years of age, not cautious. Unconscious breathing. A portion of this incident was also captured on the dash camera of a vehicle that was stopped facing eastbound at the intersection of Manchester Avenue and Broadway. A portion of this incident was also captured by a surveillance video from a nearby business. Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics responded to the scene and pronounced both occupants of the BMW deceased. They were later identified as Jamare Keyes and Janisha Harris. The LAPD Traffic Group Multidisciplinary Collision Investigation Team was notified of the vehicle collision resulting in the death of these two innocent people and responded to the location to conduct the traffic collision investigation. Investigators executed search warrants on the involved vehicles to download the black box to determine the speed at the time of the crash it was determined that the suspect's Cadillac was traveling at a minimum of 68 miles per hour at the time of the collision. The Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office filed the following charges against Matthew Sutton. Two counts of gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated, two counts of vehicular manslaughter with gross negligence, two counts of fleeing a pursuing peace officer's motor vehicle causing death, and one count of hit and run driving resulting in an injury to another person. Matthew Sutton is a 20 year old resident of Los Angeles.